even if you and your friend are, are your girlfriend are fighting, is it by touching me that is going to solve the situation? Like this guy said, touching me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So long time no see. I know you guys are tired that every time I'm always saying long time no see, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, you guys are going to be wondering, okay, my hair is like this. I'm not going on this channel with my hair like this. I can't remember. I can't really remember because I really don't even keep track of my videos because uh, YouTube, they're on their own. So guys, how have you all been? So I actually just finished watching either two days or three days ago. I watched one YouTuber's vlog and I really, really enjoyed it. She was talking about all the fucked up relationships she has had in her life. <laughs> Or dating experiences she has had in her life but I will warn I've not really gone on a lot of dates that's because I've been in a lot of in two long-term relationships that's how my life have been but then I'm going to be just seeing you guys today while I show you guys how to install or make a dope ass glueless wig you know <clears throat> I'll explain to you guys what a this week means before I go into that. And then I'm going to be just seeing you all on one of my most awkward experience in, let me not call it in dating, but like between boy and girl that I have had in my entire life. I don't know, <laughs> I know a lot of you must have had a lot of more awkward experiences, but yeah, this is my own awkward experience. So if you want to hear and you also want to learn at the same time how to install your glitter this week, Please keep on watching. So guys, this week I've actually been using, I plan to actually do a review on it for the first time I wore it. But yeah, I couldn't do that. That's because like I fell so in love with this hair and I've been using it for at least a month now. It's, it's a bouncy frontal wig. So yeah. Yeah, this is the way we're going to be using So for this, for you to install your glueless wig, let me tell you guys something. A glueless wig doesn't mean that, oh, from the factory they're making it glueless. No, a glueless wig depends on whoever is wigging the hair. That's where you get your hair glueless. So now, glueless wig doesn't also mean, oh, once I wear it, it's going to lay. You see all those liars on Instagram deceiving you all and you are falling. Anywho, it doesn't mean it's just going to lay lay on your head you actually have to do some things or you have to style them a certain way like this hair right now i could just you see i could just put it on and if i decide i want to wear the center pattern layer this is it with just a little bit of this this is it i really hope you guys can see me because it feels like it's getting dark oh. okay let me try and increase the brightness but yeah, so this is the main thing is okay, it can sit on my hair without me needing to put any glue or anything. Now there is a way you can install a glue for it to actually look very natural and still get your baby hairs and everything, and that's it. So in today's video, that's what we're going to be doing. We're just going to be needing this glue. If you don't have this glue, you can use edge control, you can use gel, but I always like to use this glue. See, I already styled my hair, but then if you've not styled your frontal wig, you obviously need this styling mousse because that's what will help you manipulate the style you want to do on your frontal. You would be needing comb and a toothbrush and a tail comb for styling your hair and of course your wrap band for wrapping your hair or like your hair tie or anything you really have around that can style your hair. So that being aside, that set aside, now that we know everything, I'm just going to go ahead and be just seeing you guys while I do the work. So first of all, I'm going to, yeah, set. See guys, you need a pin though. Like, I don't know, my pins are not here, so I would have to be trying, struggling with them. You need a pin to be holding your hair. So you find, of course, it's less weak. They, they will cut it according to your head shape. So yeah, you just make sure, okay, yeah, these are these the two places are where they're supposed to be, right? So guys, let me just strip all. So after I graduated from secondary school, I graduated at age 16, I was going to be 17 that year. I graduated from secondary school and then I went to the university. And the problem is I was such a naive girl. I did a boarding school, an all-girls school in just Latin states. Please be reminded that most people in just Latin states, like no offense, so trust me, I'm a big time J Town girl, just has a lot of, how will I put it now, home training. Like there is this. See, they are not wild people. That's the honest truth. 
So yeah, imagine a person that went to secondary school, a boarding school, all girls, and then I was 16. And see, I'm one person that knows how to mind my business. So I was always like, I wasn't quiet. Trust me, I'm not a quiet person. <laughs> quiet. It's not in my dictionary. But I wasn't, I didn't know how to. I don't really know how I'll put it right now, but any cool, I wasn't that out there. So, and I was going to Anambra State. I don't know. See, for me, I did Lagos just once, but maybe because I did stay, but of course, I can never compare them. But Anambra, <laughs> I feel like it's just as hot as Lagos. Like, when I mean hot, like, every weird thing you think you have seen <laughs> can be happening in Anambra State soon. Anywho, so when I went there, that was when I entered my first long-term relationship. When I call it long-term, I don't know, considering that I could do relationship two months, three months. That one was like a year and, and then my second relationship was about five years or something of that nature. So, <laughs> I was in this relationship and then I actually had friends. I had friends, but then like, that's one of the reasons why I made this video of saying, why you should never date someone that is too older than you. That's one of the reasons because they always end up pushing away people from your life. Like, see, they don't do it directly, like trying to say, oh, you don't need to talk to this person. They come and do it indirectly. So yeah, so basically, all my friends were basically not talking. Then we broke up. <laughs> we broke up and then, of course, I needed friends. I was more, that was my first relationship. Like, I didn't even do small, small secondary school, really. I didn't do anything. Like, that was my first relationship. And then it was ending like this. And I don't know if you all know things about first relationship. A lot of things. And considering I was a very naive girl, a lot of things that made things happen, happens mostly in first relationships. So, it was a big deal for me. You know, I fought with everybody to be with that guy. I remember my cousin that was always against it. I even called her with no shame. After I was, oh God, with no shame, I called her. I was like, please, he broke up with me. And the way he made the breakup seem is like, up to today, I can't really see anything bad in it. So it's not like, oh, I, I cheated on you. Or, oh, I did something bad to you. It was just basically breakup. Anywho, guys, you can see what I'm doing right now. I'm just using my God to be glue and then I'm just laying my baby hairs. See, I wish most probably I'll still redo something like this, like a glueless wig install, but like from scratch because I already styled this hair, so that's why it's not giving me any problem. I already know where my want my baby hairs to be and everything. So let me continue this gist <clears> though. <throat> so then <laughs> He called, um, he broke up with me and then I met friends, you know, even friends that were trying, you know how people be trying to come close to you, your faculty and all that, but you know, because you have this boyfriend that feels like, oh, these girls are bad girls, you would not talk to them. So I finally started talking, like getting, my phone is ringing, it's one second. Okay guys, so my phone was ringing, I had to keep the call. So yeah, so, you know, I started getting close to all my friends again. Like, I actually started leaving. This is what I said in that last video. Things, things that you're supposed to actually be doing, you will see them as weird because you're dating someone that is so older than you. Anyway, so we, I got talking, like I got, I met these friends. I already knew, I always knew them. But the problem was I wasn't close to them because of that relationship. You understand and you know I always felt okay he knows better because of course he was my senior with so many years so then you know I was coming out of a breakup now so of course I needed things to cheer me up so you know one of them was just saying of how she went to Lagos and how Lagos was fun like so many fun things she was saying about Lagos like I just really wanted to see this Lagos like oh this Lagos is in Nigeria and then like do you understand I just wanted to see this Lagos so I now we're going on holiday for one of our semesters I now told one of our one of we're three we're three close friends so one of us lived in Lagos one of us lived in Lagos, so I was like, oh my god, okay, I would like to come to this Lagos. She was like, oh, of course, sure, come now, come and stay in my house, or something of that nature. So the whole plan was stay in her house, house in Lagos. So when I got there, no, not even when I got there, 
Um, I now, that was the whole plan before I had to come back to just for my own holiday because of course my parents, see whether it's three days they give you, you must come back to just for holiday. You can never stay your way anywhere. So that's how, so that's how I now came back to Joss. So while I was in Joss, I was making arrangements with my with my friend. I'm not told my parents I was going to Lagos, but all I knew, because I know of course they would never allow me to go to Lagos. Come I going to Lagos to do, hey God, I'm even telling them, who will the deliver tell them I'm going to Lagos. Anywho, that's how I was making arrangements with my friend. She was like, yeah, okay. So I think something came up, most probably a visitor came to their house or something, but I know I couldn't stay in her house. Now, while we are okay, there was this boyfriend she was dating, like we we're really, really close with him and all that. So they actually have a family house in Lagos and he was there during the whole holiday just to, you know, be seeing her, maybe like, I miss you kind of scene and all that, like my girlfriend. So she was like, okay, now that she's still calm, no need for me to cancel everything. She really wants to see me. We're really, really close though. Then like she come, I will stay with her in her boyfriend's house. Please remember that this boyfriend's house is not like his personal house. It was a family house. Now it's just like, let me say, your family has a house in another state. And then most probably you have brothers and sisters and most of them have friends that are still hustling and everything. So some of them will be in the house too, trying to like, you know, get their foot and everything. That's how the house was. There was like about six guys or something of that in that Lagos. But then I didn't mind because I felt okay. I've known this guy now. He'll protect me. He'll take care of me. So naive of me. Oh my god. All right. So that's how I liked my prayers. And then I was supposed to go back. See you. School hasn't even resumed. I said, see, school has resumed. I'm going back. What? 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 We have because that time I was studying law. I was doing my diploma in law. And so that's how they were like, okay, fine. So the whole plan was um, to get straight to Lagos from because of course they were going to put us on in a bus going to the east. Now I didn't expect my father to want to be like, okay, even though I expected because my father is strict like that. He said he would book the whole ticket, he would take and my father, when he takes you to the park to go back to school, right? He's going to stay there and watch your boss move or something or whatever and she starts progressing. So there was even no way. So I was like, see, I must, I must have to go to this east. I must go to Oka before I finally go to Lagos. So I went to Oka. So that period, they only gave me like, was it 5,000 or something? They were like, okay, they will send me money, right? So I was like, okay, it's fine. So I had just 5,000 there on me and then I went to the east. I spent money in my account. The next day, immediately, okay, my parents had not sent me money. So my friend was like, okay, it's fine, it's fine. And she will use her own money, she will book for me, like Lagos ticket. Then I was like, before now, I was like, okay, yeah, it's fine, no problem, let's do it like that. So she booked this ticket, and then I left for Lagos. And then I, that's another story to tell you how my parents found out. They found out that same day that I was leaving, I'd not even landed Lagos, they found out that I was going to Lagos. Okay, so that's how they now, as per best way to force me to come back was to cut me off financially. But I was like, eh, hey, this Lagos that I've been wanting to see. With that here, oh, no problem. Even if I'm going to not eat, no problem. Let's move. So I went to Lagos, guys. So now let me cut it all down. Let me not say, let me cut it all down to when my most awkward moment, like things you won't imagine a human being would do, happened to me. So... I was, of course, I was staying my, it was a three bedroom flat, my friend's boyfriend's family house. So there were a lot of guys, some of them slept in the, yeah, I really didn't mind sleeping in the parlor and everything. So I was, I don't know, I think I was sleeping with one of, so they were so friendly that, you know, that I said naive, like I can't try that again right now. Me and a grown man would just go and lie down on the same bed for God's sake. I can't try it. Anywho, I was with his friend, we in one room, I had one other of his friend. Because that one was so friendly that I expected more. You know when you just expect too much from people? Because now, <laughs> I won't even trust you to want to betray me. Don't worry. i rather not trust you than you will change my perspective on you. So we went to, I was, that was where I was sleeping. In fact, that his friend didn't even disturb me. I know one night he was trying to, you know how someone wants to be doing gummy body? But like when he saw, okay, I wasn't interested. I think basically men in Lagos just feel like, see, girls just, girls just always want to have sex. I don't know or how, like girls are cheap or something of that nature. So, you know, when I actually shook him away, he left me. I won't even like, left me. So, you know, my friend and her boyfriend started having problems. I don't know if it was problems or what. 
Anywho, all I know is that that night, the guy came to join us. We're now three in that room. Ha! That night, that night that I thought would be one of my best nights, as per my friend's boyfriend is here. His friend will not try all this nonsense. I didn't even know that life had a separate plan for me. Okay, sleeping be gone. Something like about 12 o'clock, I started feeling hands on my body. I was like, ah, what's going on? What's happening? And then that's how I now told I said I was my friend's boyfriend that was touching me. I was late. Like, if you want, even if you're your friend, uh, uh, your girlfriend are fighting, is it by touching me that is going to solve the situation? Like, this guy said, touching me, telling me of how she, my friend is doing this. I don't call her name here and all that. My friend is doing this. My friend is doing that. She's, hey, God. Like, I've never been in such an awkward position. I was like, see, I think this energy you're using to touch me right now, I think you should actually call my friend. Like, call her. It's not, it's not so late in the night. It was like, she won't pick. She won't answer. She has become so, he feels like she's cheating. And I said, all these things you're telling me, call her and tell her. Mama, this guy was touching touch. Her and I stood up and went to the corridor. So, you know, see, eh, once I realized the guy in the, you see, in this just, even though I don't even try my patience, I don't even like to see people say, no, come and visit me. I don't visit anybody. You see, when this rape thing was going on, that they were like, justice for this person. I said, me, I will not wait to be the person that will be carrying on placard, justice for Chioma. No, 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 no. It's not going to happen. So before then, situations where I can prevent, I try to prevent it to come to my house. For what? I'm not going because I think Oka and Lagos just got to teach me that. Guys always, when you go to their house, they always feel like you want something. Even if you're just going there for you guys to just, maybe Netflix and chill or something. Their own Netflix and chill is on your body. You know? So you better just stay on your own. If you're not ready, you don't want. If it's someone you're interested in, okay, you're like, okay, okay, fine. This person actually wants to do stuff. But I fine, go. Even if he doesn't approach you, maybe you you'll be the one to approach him. One way or the other, the main thing is you are down, he's down. If it's something you know that you are not, ah, me, I'm not really interested, please just stay in your house. Anywho, he now he touched he struggled though. All I know is that I stood up, I went to the balcony and all that. So the next morning came. That was so awkward. Now my friend always comes to the house every day. My friend landed. Oh my god, my friend. I couldn't even look at her face. Like I, I swear, like I was so embarrassed. Now, please, you guys should know that my friend was living in his house in school like she didn't she didn't have a house kind of so he was basically his house in school that day is she was staying there now what am i telling her for so that she will break up with him like that's what i kept thinking okay should i tell her should i not tell her should i tell her should i not tell her so i now you know we're just gisting and i was just chipping it in i was like hi hey, guys are very guys because i never knew this guy would ever want to do anything like that i was just saying i was like see Guys are very, very weird. Like, we need to really be careful of guys. So, you know, I was just talking. But the main thing is, I couldn't tell her that main point that, see, your boyfriend was trying to touch me in the night. I couldn't because it will bring problems. And how unfair of me, I saw how much she struggled to, like, before she finally decided to stay with him. It's not like it was her first choice option. You understand? It's just, it just happened, right? Guys, so after you're done with your baby hairs for the... You can actually be styling with your baby hairs. Now, you see, I told you guys that my hair is already styled. There's already a lot of mousse. Don't use this mousse on your hair. I'm only using it because I really trust my hair 100%. But there are really nice mousses that will not make your hair strong and all that. So, yeah, those mousses, you can use them to create your pattern. I told you guys I already created my pattern. So, of course, I'll repeat this glorious wig install with a brand new wig and all that Anywho, so while I'm sitting down, I'm just going to quickly just you guys while I'm waiting for it to some people use hand dryer to dry it quickly, but I beg, I'm just seeing you guys, so let's go. So that's how oh, my guy, my girl, I, I was just chipping it to her and everything, and that day passed. We went out, the whole outing went, and then you know, maybe I'll just you guys about how I reconcile my parents and all that later. But anyway, we went back to the east. Well, we'll go back to the east though. My mind was still doing me like, see, oh, you need to tell your friend, you need to tell your friend. And then I was like, oh my God, how will I tell her? Now, there are some of 
my friends that were in the east they were not really her friends they were not her, they were more of my friends so you know one day we were seen and then i got and i was like see you see what's on my mind tell them how everything went i was like me i don't know if i should tell her or something you understand but like what do i do then i said ah, no, no no there's no need to tell her she just feel it guys can be like that you know all this talk now just speak about guys and everybody found their way all right guys like two weeks later three weeks i don't know I don't know, I shan't know it's well, like a month or two months since our resumption. And then we just finished hanging out and then hand like I even started making it a thing. Like if she calls me, okay, we'll come because sometimes she tends to come now, she come and spend the night in their house. Oh, 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 oh. see, over closeness, this and that now. See, this may be another topic too again. Over closeness to people in relationship, don't try it. See, I don't now I don't miss out my friend's boyfriend's number. If you call me, we finish talking, I'm deleting your number immediately. I don't want like see i i experienced it firsthand so you know that's how they now left after they left i was in my house thank god i went to my friend's house so we're all together and the next day she called me like 30 minutes ago like later she was like please don't talk to that she, I, she thinks i should come out of it that's because they're very private see maybe she started talking to me like that i knew most probably this was where it was headed to so i thought no whatever you want to say you can say it in front of these people too you understand like there's really nothing to it so say it so she was like, ah, um, this guy, I always called the guy's name. She was like, ah, this guy told me this and this and this, he did this. And then I was like, see, let me tell you, the only reason I didn't tell you, like I explained to her. And do you know what saved me and didn't even make the story too long was the fact that I told my friends. And so they were like, okay, yes, I actually told them that I came back from Lagos that this happened. But that they advised not to her because they felt she was going to like start keeping her or something and become homeless and all that. So, see, I think that was what dissolved it because if I, I she felt maybe if I could tell them and all that, most probably because what's it that they do with your boyfriend? Anyway, so that's how, like, since that day, but I actually had zero respect for the boyfriend. In as much as she has always made me feel like that guy is an idiot, but you know how you want to see the good side of somebody? That day, the whole, see, for me, that guy was the complete. The end time I see is a complete idiot in my face because I was just wondering, like, <laughs> so you were, she, he was like, he was feeling bad, and so he was trying to tell her that he touched her, and I was like, I was not feeling disgusted because who knows what he would have said that he did, which he did not even. Do you understand? Like, I was so angry, but you know, the next day I kept contemplating I was going to go to school because we always went to school to. We always go to school together, the three of us. Hey, my dears, that day the third person wasn't even around. So it was me and her. Thank God we're not coming from the same place, of course. So when I was walking into our faculty, and she saw me from afar, her man, she bought snacks for me. She was like, hey, uh, and gave me the snacks. And I was so scared. I was like, this must be poison. Or something like that. Like, I was so scared. But then I walked her, and then, like, she literally didn't talk about it ever again, but I have never been in an awkward situation between a boy and a girl like that. Day. Honestly, it was so so terrible. So that's how we now continued our friendship. But since that day, guys, can you see? Ooh, <laughs> ah, but this side, this side just started to be fucked up. Eh, hey, what's up? What's up? But anyway, this is what your Ah, God, this side is just a me. <laughs> but anyway, mm, this is what your glorious week insult should look like when you are done. So you see that when they say glueless week, they don't mean like, oh, you're not going to put anything. Once you just bear in the front, I'll just appear. Those people are fucked up liars. Do you understand? It's not possible. But then you have to lay, but it's not that you will not put glue and then lay your lace and all that. So you can do your baby hair. If I ever do it without baby hair, maybe the next video I'll do it without baby hair. The glue next week install without baby hair. So you guys will see. But that one, you have to put a whole lot of styling moves. Your styling moves will be your best friend. Considering you're buying styling moves for 2-5, those original ones I advise you guys to be going for. I, I think sticking to using glue is like the best. To using got to be your edge control. Or... What else? Got to be edge control. Basically, that's just it. So, yes, guys, that's my story time, my most awkward moments in my entire life. So, if you enjoyed this video, this video is kind of a little bit long. <laughs> but 
but it's fine though for all those of you that watch it to the end you can comment and tell us but then let me come up close so you guys can see the wig can you see this side is really fucked up guys i won't even lie i know the camera will try to edit it but you know me i'm not a liar i always tell you the truth cameras always try to edit so that you people will not see what's going on in real life but this side really did not sit as much as this other side maybe it's because i'm always patting my which side patting so like i concentrate more on this side but yeah this is it this is still very good like i can go out like this and still sleep so that's my most awkward moment story time and if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe share comment about your most awkward time too guys my own is being cut off between two people oh. I be a friend's boyfriend trying to do what with me, upset me. I don't know. I don't know what was on his mind that night, but Heavenly Father knows, ba. Me, hey, whoa. Just bye, guys. Bye.